The views and opinions expressed in this podcast episode are those of the host and guests and not their sponsoring institutions. Welcome back to the Chris Cross Corner Podcast. We have the great debater, Christopher Brett of the show, Folding Dishes. And today we're going to be talking about the elephant in the room. Yes, it is time. It's back. Finally, I have a reason to get on my couch every Saturday morning, every Sunday morning. I have a reason to get up Mm -hmm. in the morning now on the weekends. It is officially fall. It is officially autumn, fall, whatever you want to call it. It is football season. College. Ow, that that looked like it hurt. (laughs) He's like, oh, ow, shit, damn. (laughs) That that, anyway. that, was not, that was not rehearsed. That was not the script. Uh, <laughs> He's like, yeah, ow! <laughs> anyway, we're back. I try to hide it. Football's back. NCAA on Saturdays. NFL on the Sunday. Mm-hmm. And Monday and Thursday. Yep. And if you know COVID comes again, maybe on Tuesday and Wednesday. <laughs> but, hey, low key. Low key. That was lit. <sighs> And before we get into the football, like talk about football, I need to talk about the disrespect, disrespect, the utter disrespect that Uh the NF that the NFL has treated my Detroit Lions. I went through the whole schedule. Yeah, the Lions not don't have not one prime time game, not one, and excluding Thanksgiving because everybody looks at that shit on Thanksgiving. That that's that's. That's the exception. You know what? I just thought about this. You know the, the Thanksgiving lineup of games? Yeah. The Lions game is the the it's the prelims. If it was a WWE show, it would be a it would be the pre-show. Yeah, that'll be Sunday night heat or velocity. No, 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 no. It'll be the prelims for UFC when no one's in the arena yet. <laughs> hey, lo- hey, low key, them prelims been hidden though. Low key. I'll be like, wait a minute, where's everybody? And then people right. show up at like eight o'clock when the pay per view starts. So I'm like, what the? That's not right. Fair. Like, right, like, like, like honestly, with with the Thanksgiving game against um against Buffalo, that might be that might be the equivalent to the two. Wait, we, we face Buffalo. Yeah, we played we played Buffalo on Thanksgiving. I guess guess I'm guess I'm going to dinner then. It's Thanksgiving. <laughs> hey, you might and honestly, I'm gonna say it right now. I'm that gonna wake game, up, go straight to dinner. That game probably is gonna be the 2022 equivalent. To when the Colts played against the Lions in 2004, and Peyton Manning threw not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, but six damn touchdowns in the first half by himself. And Colts was like, "Hey man, like man, hey, hey, hey man, look, come out the game, come out the game, like the game's over." I'm not even. I'm. I, I don't. I don't even care anymore. I do know that after watching Hard Knocks on mm-hmm. HBO Max, the Detroit Lions. Might do something this year. I hope. The, the, the seven wins. Well, that's good. I need 17. Okay. Did week one, we have the Philadelphia Eagles. Okay. We can, we can win that game. I mean, the we next might, week, I, the next week, we have the Washington Commanders. We can win that too. We better. Then the next thing, we have the Vikings. That's 3 0 right there. <laughs> that's 3 0. <laughs> then we have the Seahawks. That's 4 0. Come on now. I hope. Then we have the Patriots. That's five and all right there. Okay, I, I, I don't know about that, but well, we always beat the Patriots. What you mean? <laughs> then we have a bye week, which we still might w- lose that week, um, <laughs> but it doesn't matter and because I, 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 our mascot might get injured during the bye week. Yeah, I heard about it. <laughs> that. Was breaking news on ESPN? Breaking news: the Baltimore Ravens mascot. <laughs> I ain't never, I ain't never seen a breaking news segment for the damn mascot in all my years. I've never seen that. I actually grabbed my phone like, oh, what, the, what, what the hell's happening? And I looked at, I was like, like really, really though. No? <laughs> it, it's a sign. It's a sign of things to come. Uh, it's a sign of things to come in Baltimore. I keep on saying that if the if all the everybody didn't have injuries last year, Baltimore would have went to the Super Bowl. I really don't believe that. They're stacked. And it, they were so stacked. They're still stacked they now. Were. But 
it's just the injuries. And shout out to my boy Dalen Hayes. Hey. On the team, number 59. Um, like y'all would have went to a Super Bowl. If y'all I'm not saying y'all because it was not your fault. It's non-contact injuries and injuries and COVID and all that stuff that happened last yeah, year. It, it's a lot. But dang, Cincinnati though. There was a good Super Bowl though. I'm not gonna lie. There was a good Super Bowl. I can't I can no longer call them the Bungles. Can't call them they're, the Bungles. They are the Bengals. Actually, that whole that whole AFC North is legit. All the teams are good. Well the damn Browns. However, yeah, there is gonna be some shenanigans that will happen against the Browns this year. It always happens, it never fails. Oh, oh yeah, I know. Shout out I to my grandma. Pray. Shout out to my grandma, She's a Cleveland Browns fan. Something will happen. Why? She's from Cleveland. Cleveland Browns fan. Every time she cheers for the for the Browns, something happens. It never fails. I'm gonna I'm gonna need to cheer for them every game. Then <laughs> I want something bad to happen. I got. I literally have it on DraftKings right now. I literally placed in um, a money line that the Browns will go all in seventeen this season. I want 17. They're going to win. win a game this year. You know that, right? They're going to win game two, one. They're going to win game I, one against Carolina. I'll put you know $2. That, right? I'll put $2. How, how much how, how much will you win if you get the thing for $2? $500. S- send me the link. <laughs> 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 I'll send you the link. Wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to watch. I, I will right, never. Wait, right there. I'll never watch a game so hard. Right there. Watch, I'm gonna watch the first game of the season. Like, that, right there, if, you think, if you think I'm lying, that, that's, I'm highlighting that's it. it. I'm highlighting it right now on <laughs> on on uh, the score app. Mm-hmm. I'm highlighting it. What's the score? The score score betting doesn't work in Michigan. I don't know why not. But really, no. that's weird. Yeah, we got DraftKings. Actually, we're gonna get a DraftKings bar. Shout out uh, to uh, Somerset Mall. We're gonna get a DraftKings bar in at Somerset. Oh, that's a perfect place for that. It's going to be too perfect. far, though. I don't feel like driving out there, though. I know. I got they, they have one. They ha- I think they have one in a Motor City Casino, I believe. I would think they would. It's a big casino. And then MGM, of course, has bet MGM in their in their casino. I don't know which one Greek Town has. Or yeah. not. It's, it's called Hollywood Casino now. But... <sighs> But we're so, gonna move on. We're gonna move on. We're gonna talk about the different divisions. Who's gonna win the division? And my top ten teams that might go to the that might win the Super Bowl. So I'm gonna go by division. I'm gonna go by one uh, four to one for each division. Okay. Oh, we're gonna do a lad put the first place. Uh, no, no, no that, that, that's what I'm doing. Oh, okay. So for we're we're gonna start off at home, okay? The NFC North, my wow, favorite, cool. my favorite division, okay? This division I look at, I study hard all season. I look hard all season. I'll be like, okay, the Lions gotta win this game. The Patriots have to win against the Packers. The Packers have to lose against the Bears. The Bears have to win against anti for Detroit to get it. Okay, it's 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 a Detroit thing, okay? You're not a Detroit fan until you start calculating how many times teams have to lose for y'all to get first place. You ain't, you ain't lying, man. You ain't. You is not lying. <laughs> you, I, I, I can't dispute that. I, I, I can't. But yeah, we're we're in the NFC North, so that entails the Packers, Lions, Vikings, and Bears. In order, from last place to first place, I have the Chicago Bears at last place. Yep. Then the Minnesota Vikings at three. Yep. Then the Detroit Lions at two. I'm doing that right now. I'm putting them at two. I'm putting them, I'm putting them in the wild card. They're going to be in the wild card. And, of course, we know who runs the North. Aaron Rodgers and the Packerettes. I don't know this year. It's going to be Aaron Rodgers and the Packerettes. By, 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 it's going to be her. It's going to be, it's going to be, here up here, the Packers, and then a huge space, and then the other three. Dang. So uh what about you? What's your NFC North uh, division winner? 
Well, the first two that I had from from last to first was literally spot on. The um the Bears, then the Vikings. I had the Packers, and surprisingly, I got the Lions winning the division. Now, hear, hear me out. Hear me out. We're gonna, hear we're me gonna, out. We're, we're gonna go through the schedule and see which games you think the Detroit Lions are gonna win. No, no, hear, hear me out. What's gonna happen is that Aaron Rodgers is gonna get his ACL torn in Week One by oh, whoever deep. Yeah, Week One by whoever defense that they're playing. They ain't got no receivers. The Vikings. They face the Vikings. Okay, well, I want the Vikings defensive fantasy to like give me like thirty-five points and break his ACL. That's like tear it, everything, and okay. and we look and we look at the Packers that hold losing Devontae Adams. That's a huge loss for that offense. And yeah, I know they got Aaron Jones, but still, like the receivers got hands for decoration. Nobody can catch. The defense is sus is sus at best. So, I I just I don't I just don't see it. <laughs> I don't see it. They're one of the They're the NFC North version of the Cowboys. Everybody talks all every year about how. Oh my God! They're gonna make the Super Bowl. They're gonna make the Super Bowl, and what happens? They let you down they every do. single year. Every single year. Every single year. I mean, they don't let you down. They win a lot, and then they get to the playoffs, and then they kind of. Yeah, but my thing is, like, do you win when it matters? They're sure. a great regular season team, but they're a bad postseason team. You're right. They are bad, and Aaron Rodgers himself has choked a lot in the postseason. But because it's Aaron Rodgers, everybody wants to give him a pass. He don't get a pass from me. He mm. doesn't. Okay. Uh, AFC North. Tom Lester, I am immunizing and been on freaking Joe Rogan's podcast that he lied to the media saying it, that he wasn't vaccinated. I'm like, man, get a phone out here. I'm, it, don't I'm sorry. it don't matter. It's just, it's Joe Rogan. I know, I, I, no, I, I, shout I, out to Joe Rogan. Yeah. Um, no, number four for AFC North, I have Cleveland Browns in yeah. last place. Yeah. Uh, who are, they're not going to go 0 17. But I will put I will place my bet. I, I hope. Um, Pittsburgh Steelers at three. Baltimore Ravens at two. Cincinnati Bengals at one. We literally have the same list, in the same order. Hey, okay. I say the Browns, yeah, because I, I know that uh, um, somebody suspended for about eleven for eleven games. I'm gonna try not to look at them agent Zing wing because I know them boys are good. Uh, so I'm I'm trying not to look at them. Um, the the Steelers, the first year after Ben Roethlisberger, so it's a new regime in the Steel City. So, I I think they can, like I don't say it'll be, I won't say it's gonna be a losing year, but I say they're gonna be like right there, like middle of the pack team. But who knows? Ravens, everybody's coming back. Assuming that they stay healthy, they're gonna be dangerous. And the Bengals, they're the Bengals. But protect your quarterback, please. He is mm-hmm. one injury away from oh, from having Andrew Luck syndrome in Indianapolis. Yep. Protect your quarterback. All right, we're going to get away from the north. I'm going to go down south. Yep. NFC South, we have – I I'm. Uh, it, I had a hard time doing the last place team. But I'm going to put New Orleans Saints – at last. Last place? At last. Wow. Then I'm going to put Carolina at three. Atlanta at two. And of course, Tom Brady and the Bucks at one. My picks, I have the Falcons at dead last. Shout out to all my people in the ATL, Atlanta. I have the Panthers at number three because Chris McCaffrey is going to get hurt because he always gets hurt. The Saints, year two after the Drew Brees um, in a, and in the post Drew Brees um, era, I had them in second place, and of course the Bucks because I, I I can't go against the Goats and that roster is stacked. And you add Julio Jones in the off season for peanuts. Come on, man! Right. And, 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 and Julio, if you get a chip this year, hey, man, look, you deserve it. You deserve it. That's so, what you, so, so what you call Julio Jones to Kevin Durant? Oh, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. No, no. I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. I'm no, playing. no, no, no. <laughs> Can't beat him, join him. <laughs> yeah, you, you quiet now, aren't you? <laughs> now. 
I'm not going to go. I'm, we're going to go to the AFC South. I'm going to say I um, do. Um, we're going to do um, Jacksonville Jaguars at four. Maybe, maybe three. But right now, I'm putting them at four. Hey, they, they have Doug Peterson now. Doug Peterson is a Super Bowl winning coach. So I, I, I'm gonna wait my turn. I'm gonna wait. So gonna... you have you have you have weapons in Jacksonville. You just gotta use them properly. Oh, they got Texans. Not a good Texans. Way. The Texans are at three. Even though I don't care for them, they should be at four. But I'm putting them at three just because of Jacksonville's rec- uh, reputation. Um, yeah. Indianapolis Colts at two. And then the Tennessee Titans at one. I yeah, we're, we're pretty much around the same. Um, the Jaguars, Duval County, they're dead last. I'm sorry, hey, Trevor Lawrence, get out of there! Like save save yourself before it's too late. The Texans, they're number three, and that's being nice. Um, Colts, I'll give them number two. This year, if they if the Colts do not make the playoffs or really like make a run this year, then Frank Wright is going to lose his job. I can tell you that right now. They are stacked. You got arguably the best running back in the game with Jonathan Taylor. You have a solid offensive line, arguably the best in the league. You got a solid defense, the top five in the league, so they got weapons. And he asked on um, Stephon Gilmore in the offseason, so it's it's time. No excuses. And of course, the Titans with my favorite guy in the NFL, Oh, Henry, King Henry, Dead Henry, dread like Jesus himself, rushing over the helm and just just destroying folk with a stiff arm. So that's what I got. Mm-hmm. That's what I got. And chances are I'm going to the uh, to the Titans Colts game in October. So I'm gonna try to go to that game because that's a pretty good game. So that's my predictions. Okay. No ways are good. I already know it, man. I already know them boys good. They are. <laughs> I made some homemade. We I baked the wings and then I made put the Asian Asian zing sauce on them. Oh, it is different than fried wings. Fried wings that beat up the wing stop. There's no juice. Baked wings are all juicy. And then you put the Asian zing sauce on. Oh, take me back. Take <laughs> Literally. Me back. Um, the NFC least. I mean the NFC East. Um, ah. I got the Giants at dead last. Yeah, no surprise there. Um, Commanders at three. Even though they might be two, based on their weapons. Sadly, Uh-oh. All, all these teams have weapons. They all just fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> badly, badly. I remember, I remember one year Dallas was like four and nine, and still in the run for the Super Bowl. <laughs> oh, wait, that, 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 wait, that, that was the COVID year. That was the COVID year. You know your whole division bad where you can literally win, and you can have a losing record and still win the division. That's bad. That's that's bad. Mm-mm-mm. Um. So you said the Giants, you said the Commanders, and. Now it's down to the other two teams. Uh, this this is a hard one because oh, no. people who are listening and know oh. that I I am an avid I'm a fan of really great sports cities, and these two cities are really great sports cities. Oh, however, one sports city uh-uh. has actually won a Super Bowl in the last twenty five years. That is true. And one has not. And the one who didn't, their fans are the most delusional, the most boisterous, the most blow, uh, they just bloviate. Asinine. They're just, it's, 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 it's bad. Every year they think it's them. Like, stop. Right. Just because you beat Washington, Jacksonville, oh, look at it, look at these Cowboys, Chris. Who are about them boys? Like, no. They're gonna win all these games, just like the Steelers two years ago. Okay, you went eleven and zero. And then you're going against a really good team. Do we, do we have to talk about this? You're gonna go against a really good team and then lose like a bunch of bitches. They they lost against Washington. Okay, now, Washington was a really good team. 
nine nine to twenty twenty. Yes, they were. They were a decent team. They were okay. Exactly. They were decent. All all eleven games before that, they were facing like the Lions. <laughs> and you know this to be true. And you're saying this because you have an, an allegiance to Pittsburgh for some reason. And I know why it is. We're not gonna say it on this show, but I got I got the Cowboys at two. Cause y'all fucking suck when it comes to the playoffs. Right. You can you you can get 17 and 0. I'll give you that. You're great. Mm-hmm. You're great. Okay. You might you might you might even you might win a division. You might even win a division. However, oh that first round about to be god awful. You talk about the gauntlet. Dallas versus Tampa Bay in the first round. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, and that, and, oh my God! That's gonna crazy. happen. I swear to God. And that's the first game this year on a Sunday. That's gonna be hilarious. It's gonna be hilarious. Is it, is it in Jerry World or is it in Tampa Bay? I believe it's in Dallas. Oh God, the house that Jerry yeah, it's built. in Dallas. Yeah, the the house that Jerry built. They did the same thing last year. The first Sunday night football game of the year. Of of course, because you got gotta get them ratings. Mm-hmm. I calculated Dallas has oh, I'm looking at this. Dallas, I'm 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 gonna pause the show right now to just to go back to what I said at the beginning of the show about this disrespect. The Dallas Cowboys. Oh God. Let's let's just, let's go through their schedule right now. Sunday night football, get week one, week two, America's game of the week. Week three, Monday night football. Oh, that's three primetime games. They get three primetime games that's in three, a row. That's three nationally televised games right there. Oh my god. What? Okay, week week two they face the commanders. Who cares? That's the bye week. Um, then week five, they face the Rams, America's game of the week. Of course. Uh then they get Sunday night football again against the Eagles. Oh, wait, wait. They get the Thanksgiving game too. Don't remind me. Um <laughs> then, then, then they go against the uh, Detroit Lions, which we're gonna beat them in Detroit. I'll be at that game. Um, hey, low with, key, my, with my with my Dallas cap on, I'm at the side up there just for that. Like I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> then they got the Bear, Lions and the Bears at one o'clock. That's just not fair. So yeah, that, that NFC fair. North. Then they have another America's Game of the Week on against the Packers, and then another game of the week, bro, <laughs> the Vikings. Come on, man. And then and then Come ladies, on, man. then ladies and gentlemen, the Thanksgiving game against the New York Giants. But it doesn't stop there, everybody. It doesn't. It doesn't. You're every every Detroit fan who wanted a, a Monday night, Thursday night, or Sunday night football game is going to be mad. One. Just one. The Dallas Cowboys have yet another Sunday night football game against the Indianapolis Colts. Oh, that, that's in Dallas. Yeah, that's in Dallas. Yeah, it's in Dallas. Yeah, that's and then cool. Christmas Eve, America's game of the week again. What the hell? Bruh. And then, like, and then, like, like, and then if, you, and then if you think it couldn't get any worse. It's another one? No. They had a Monday night football game. They had a Sunday night football game. They got Thanksgiving. They got America's Game of the Week. But wait a minute. You got to get the, you got to get the Thanos hand right. The gauntlet right. You got to have it right. They have a Thursday night football game. The Thursday night stone has been put in place. And then. Should have went for the head. God damn it. God damn it, Dallas. We just we just want one. Just sacrifice one. You know what? Honestly, I'm gonna say this right now. I think the last time, I think in the last few years, because I don't know if we really count the Thanksgiving game as a as a primetime game, because the Lions and, and Cowboys always get that game. So I don't count that. No, no, I'm, been- I, no, I, I'm I'm not talking about prime time. I'm talking about a nationally televised game where everybody has to watch or is forced to watch. <laughs> yeah, the fact that Dallas has 12 <laughs> out of 17. 12? Out of 17 games. Good Lord. I'm not going to watch Dallas. Then you don't win a Super Bowl? Get the fuck out of here. America's team is the Detroit Lions. And the Lions can't even get one. <laughs> not one. No, as soon as, De- as soon as Detroit wins a Super Bowl, we're gonna be called America's team. Just watch. I swear. Hell, it's the fine. damn, the damn Steelers get a Sunday night game, a Monday night game, 
Um, we might set the lodge on fire if the Lions win the Super Bowl. It's different already firing up, but I think the Steelers get maybe three primetime games this season. A Monday night game for sure. Could that wait? They get that game. A couple of Sunday night games. Hell, the Colts get a few Monday night. Um, I don't, I don't care about the game. I don't care about the Dallas Cowboys and the, the Detroit Lions. Favoritism, Sad. man. Favoritism. <sighs> Favoritism. But yeah, man. but yeah, I got the Eagles at number one. What, what's your take on the East? I mean, the least. You know, Chris, you know, you know that list that you mentioned, the Giants, the Commanders, the Cowgirls, and the Eagles? Cowboys, Cowboys, Cowboys. The Cowgirls and the Eagles? <laughs> Cowboys, Cowboys, 2022. The Cowboys and then the Eagles? Okay. I got the same exact list. Hey. Because shout out, hold on, hold on, hold on. Shout out to my boy Bryce Lindsay who lives in Philadelphia. We're gonna beat the uh, uh, the Eagles on week one at one o'clock at Ford Field. Because like I'm because okay. honestly looking at the roster, if you look at it from top down with the Eagles, it's a better roster on paper than the Cowboys. And I know that sounds crazy, but if you look at it on paper, it's a better roster. It's a better offensive line. It's a better defense. Is Zeke is not the same running back that he was three years ago. Dak is Dak. Freaking CD Lamb is out. They trade away Amari Cooper. And they're just an overrated team and has been for the last half a quarter on quarter of a century. And I don't know why people want to keep giving up a pass, but this team is not it. It's just not. Like, 12. stop trying, man. Like, 12. play. 12. Huh? That's all I got to say. 12. Exactly. Like, no. And my thing is like for 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 the cow for the Cowboys to even get if you get like three primetime games, okay, I get that. But if half of your schedule are primetime games that everybody in the nation have to watch, it's not more than half. Games. It's more than half. It's like seventy five percent. When you were a one and done team in the playoffs last year, come on, man, come on, man, man, it's just the Eagles. Wow. Honestly, shout out to Jalen Hurts. I know he's going to do good this year. The defense is looking pretty solid. The wide on Philly, right? Uh, yeah, Philly, Philly, yeah. Okay. And the fact, and the fact that freaking uh, the Vikings traded away. I want to say uh, wait, no. Um, yeah, the the Vikings traded Jalen Regard to to Philadelphia, which is ironic because they drafted him before they could have had Justin Jefferson. So in other words, like it's, it's the Vikings being the Vikings. And the Eagles getting the steal. I the Cowboys the being the Cowboys. And Cowboys being the Cowboys. So, in other words, all is right in the world in the NFC least. Mm-mm-mm. All is fair in the world. Now, let's go to the other side of oh. the football conferences, the this, AFC East. This should, be, this should be easy. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> I got <laughs> – I got – I got the Jets at number one, baby. I'm playing. No, they're, they're not number one. <laughs> I'm about, I'm about. Wait, wait I, who's the first? They, they faced the Ravens on, on week one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, they're going to lose about they're gonna lose about 20. No, it's not going to be about 20. It's going to be about 60. Oh. 63 to three. Um, New, York, New York Jets at four. I had a I had a hard time doing the Patriots or the Dolphins at number three, but I believe it's going to be the Dolphins at three because I know that the Dolphins are really good. The oh, Patri- the they the don't Patriots! They don't have a quarterback. The Patriots are just hanging on. It's the they're Patriots. just hanging on. They find a way. Yeah, they're just hanging on, but they they'll find a way to get to number two. But everybody knows what who number one is. Oh, number yeah. one is going to be the Buffalo Bills, a team that would have won against Baltimore. In the AFC Championship, if it wasn't for injuries, and the team that honestly could have won the Super Bowl last year, had the overtime rules had been well, I'm not gonna talk about that. If they got the they ball were, back, <laughs> Mark was so bad. He said, "I want the ball." Thirteen seconds. He said, "I want the ball." Mark was still looking at the TV. He was like, "I'm still waiting for them to get the ball." <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it right That's now. But with the Bills, honestly, if mm. we're be, if, if we're gonna be legit, if the Bills don't make it at least to the AFC Championship, if if it's not to the AFC Championship, their coach getting fired. That team 
is too talented oh, but, from um, the top. Who, uh, uh, Buffalo? Yeah, Buffalo. You can't fire my mans. He's out here. No, they're going to fire him. That team is too talented on both sides of the ball. Are you sure it's the coach? Can Are you be. sure it's the coach? Yes, can be. If they have to, no, 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 no. If if the reason for you guys not going to a Super Bowl is the overtime rule, it's not the coach. It's not the team. It's just the NFL. Because <laughs> if the NFL was fair, both teams would get the ball in overtime. I mean, it used to be that way. Then it took it away to make the better team win. Or sometimes it wasn't the better team. It backfired. You're right. But it's like, but, God damn. <laughs> but all this... Come on, Buffalo. Once, all this, once again, is is identical. It's the same list. Now, now notice that both the Giants and the Jets, two New York teams, are deadlocked in their separate divisions. Let's just, let's just put that out there. Let's let's put it out We're there. We're not putting it out there. They suck. They're trash. They're trash. Sa- Saquon Barkley. No, Saquon, j- j- just get out of New York. Just... Just, come just, to Detroit. Come to Detroit. We need just, a running just, back. Just come, just come on up. You'll be third stream behind Swift and Jamal Williams. You know, and like you'll be fine. You know, you're no, he'll be number one for two Swift, weeks. Swift, you're right. And then Swift will be number two. <laughs> and the, who's the other one? Reynolds. Jamal Williams. Oh, Williams. Well, did, did, Reynolds, did, did Reynolds make the team? Nope. God damn, they they, can, they get rid of everybody. The be- but I, I ain't gonna lie though the best the best part of Hard Knocks was uh, was that first speech in week one he he had me ready to suit up mm-hmm. had me ready He's to suit like up. I don't care if you have I don't care if you have three toes and one butt cheek I was like where's I was my like, helmet where's my helmet let's go mm-hmm. <laughs> my my, my mother's like you know, whenever you get time think about like you know think about last year and think about that beep record that ain't us that ain't us that ain't us that ain't us. I was like, we might do something this year. We might win four games instead of three. That's, <laughs> that's a joke. <laughs> I was thinking the same damn thing. I was like, we might win four games. All right. All right, let's go to the West. This should be easy. In the NFC, we have – I have Seattle at the, at four. No surprise there. What, three and two are, are hard. Yeah, it's tough. This is going to be – actually, this is, in the, this is not a hard division. Though the top three teams of, of the four teams, is, it's going to be a toss-up depending on who plays who first. However, I have San Francisco at three, mm. which, is a t- which is a hot take. That's tough. But Arizona got the talent. Arizona got talent too. Arizona got more talent that might win something. They got angry when they lost to uh they lost to San Francisco last year. So I got Arizona at two. You, 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 and you of mean. course, and of course, my man Matthew Stafford, number nine, Cooper Cup, number 10, Aaron Donald. Come on, uh, man. No- what? Number 99. Oh, yeah, number 99. I forgot about his number. Number 99. What is they're going back to the Super Bowl. The current reigning, defending, undisputed Super Bowl champion, Los Angeles slash Detroit Rams. Mm-hmm. It's crazy that they won. The, the, the Lakers won, the Rams won, and the, and the Dodgers won within two years. Yeah. That's crazy. That's that's what you call a sports, a sports city. Okay. It's they them. Did. And then like, like, Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay did it too, with two teams. Yeah, and I think Mass Boston did it. I remember because Boston had that uh, billboard that said, "Please save the city. We haven't won a state ch- a world championship in eighty three days." I'm like, oh my God. I'm not sure. Some teams haven't won a championship in eighty three years. You're right. Speaking of having that. speaking of having won a championship in 83 years, Arizona Cardinals. <laughs> statistically the worst team in the NFL. Yes, yeah, statistically. Yeah. <laughs> but honestly. No championships, no nothing. Well, but yeah. It's a 
there's a whole conspiracy theory about that, but I don't have to vote. We don't got a time to really go into all that. But as far as this, as far as the, the NFC West, Seattle, it's your first year without Russell Wilson because you didn't protect them. And when you and when they play the Broncos in Week One, which is the other team who will get with inside the house that Russell Wilson built, yeah, he's gonna go for like 500 yards, seven touchdowns. Yeah, that Seattle's gonna be less. Um, this is gonna be a hot take. I got the Cardinals at the third spot. Okay. Got the Cardinals at the third spot. On paper, yes, they have uh, all the one through three is really a toss up. Mm-hmm. Well, two, it, it really is because like all those teams, they're just stacked on both sides of the ball. But, but the Cardinals, I just don't, I just don't see it. I know Kyler Murray's a great quarterback when he actually reads the playbook, but yeah. if you, but if you take consideration how such the defense can be at times, among other things, I, I just don't see it. The 49ers, I know that they're saying that Trey Lance, this is the guy. Debo Samuel literally based, literally carried the team on his back last year. You get mm-hmm. a line guys to come back who was hurt. They got the pedigree. They were in the NFC Championship game last year. They, they were, were in the Super Bowl two years, two years ago. Yeah, they were in the Super Bowl two years ago. So this is a team that they're, they're no stranger to when it comes to high profile games, but 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 the team that still is number one in the NFC West are the current reigning, defending, undisputed Super Bowl champions of the world, the Los Angeles Rams, with Stafford, Cooper Cup, who I still say to this day, I I never see I've never seen Jerry Rice play, but Cooper Cup had the greatest season a wide receiver has had in the history of the NFL. I don't care what anyone says. If you look at the numbers and individual accomplishments, it was the best thing a wide receiver ever had. Absolutely. So. But you had Matthew Stafford. Yeah, and my, and my thing, I think Cup was like, was 16 yards away from from breaking the single season wide, um, you know, receiving record by a wide receiver. And the first one was someone who was catching footballs from Matthew Stafford. We, so we, we, know, we, we, know, we know who that is. Thank you, Matthew Stafford, for being a great quarterback. And your years in Detroit have not been forgotten. We yeah, still have your, we still, we still have your locker space still in Detroit. You can come on back. Mm-hmm. All right. We got, we, hey, we, we got to a line now. We got two weapons. A whole line. <laughs> we got, we, we got, we got a defense. Whole line. No, 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 no. But, but in Detroit, we always know this. When you get a defensive line, you don't have an offensive line. When you get an offensive line, you don't have a defensive line. That's when you point. when you have both, your special teams suck. <laughs> That's right. <coughs> Dude, shout, out, shout, shout out to Jim Schwartz. <laughs> Fuck him. Anyways, when when it came to special teams, when, when it came to special, I can't remember who the guy was who was um returning kick and punt returns. My man needed to be on the team. He was making some plays. Yeah, he was getting like I didn't 30- watch any. I didn't watch any preseason games except for like the last four minutes of the Pittsburgh game. Well, I went. Which I cussed David Blau out. Yeah, the ham and Tim Doyle. Mm-mm-mm. I was like, why are they even in uniform? I'm like, bro, I, I should be out there. They didn't even show up to that game. No, they they, they still on the Greyhound bus. The, the LA uh, Rams record, I mean, their schedule is just ridiculous. It is. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know if they're they, they, they going to win this year. They, they are. That they, are. they got so many high profile games this year. I know that's what I'm saying. They'll actually win it because they're actually battle tested. Unlike the they have the, they have the Bills, Atlanta. That's the first. Game. Yeah, the Bills is the Bills is the first game of the season that yep. on Thursday next week. Um, yep. then you have the Falcons that's at home. Win. Falcons at home. That's a win. You're at uh Arizona, which is a toss up. Um, at San Francisco, also a toss up, must see game. Cowboys toss up must see that, that that's a win. Don't don't even fool you. No, don't it's gonna be a toss up. It's a toss up. It's the Cowboys <laughs> and the Alice in at it's it the Cowboys are coming to LA. And they'll lose. No, they're gonna they they might win. You never know. Panthers, they're gonna win. 49ers at home, more of a win than a loss. At Bucks, toss up. That's a toss up. Cardinals at home, pretty good. That's I see that as a win. At the Saints, that's a win. At the yeah. Chiefs, big toss up. That's a toss up. So there's so many toss ups in this damn season. Seattle, that's gonna they're gonna win. Uh, 
uh, Vegas at home, they're going to win. Yeah. At Green Bay in December, that's a toss up. I I I don't. Mm. That's Monday Night Football right before Christmas, and yeah, you know Wisconsin in Christmas time, it's gonna be snowing like a mug. It's gonna be snowing. It's gonna be cold, but they'll mm-hmm. still sell it out at at the frozen tundra. They'll still however, sell it. however, we have a Christmas game. We have Matthew Stafford versus Russell Wilson and the Denver Broncos on Christmas toss up. Um. Can, can I change my pick? What? <laughs> <laughs> That's tough. Toss <laughs> up. Then you got... Okay, Okay. this is basically... Okay, I can't really say this out loud because it sounds stupid for people who, who know no, about no, no. football. What are you saying? You have the Chargers. You're away at the Chargers, which they play at the same stadium. <laughs> They're going to win. Um, And then yeah. you have Seattle. At Seattle. At, uh, at Lumen Field. It's still Century League, but who cares? Um, it's Lumen Field. Man. That is tough. It's a tough schedule, but I know yeah. that Matthew Stafford has been through worse. Matthew Stafford right. has Matthew Stafford has played even has played the Jets for sixteen weeks and won eight of them. So we know that he can step up. Okay, I remember when we played the Jets on Monday Night Football in the season opener. All right, all right. That's been a, that's been another edition of the ah, no, 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 podcast. No, no, no. No, no, we're no, not gonna talk no, about that game. No. That was that was a day that will live in infamy in the sports world and in my world as well. So I don't want to go back to that date ever. That's fair. Okay. All right. Now talk, talk about these teams. Talk about the LA uh, Rams and the Cardinals and the 49ers and the Seahawks the way you can. Because I said, these I said- Rams, these Rams. We just went through the schedule. These Rams have a hard schedule. You talk about running the gauntlets. Um, that's run the gauntlets. Um, but this is why I say that if it came down to it when it came to playoff time, if the Rams were to get in, I think they have a very good shot of going back, not just because of how the offense is, but because of how the defense is. It's already it's already bad enough. It's all, it's already bad enough that you got wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. wait a minute. Not, oh god. I got conspiracy. Oh, God. You notice how when the Patriots won the Super Bowl? Yes. The next year, there's, there, the, all the games were like Cincinnati Bengals, New York Jets. I mean, they, they played New York Jets anyway. But they play like, you know, like the weakest teams, like Jacksonville Jaguars, Houston. What does is, what is, what is Matthew Stafford and the Rams get? Denver Broncos, Packers, the, the Dallas gauntlet. Cowboys, the whole Tom Brady, uh, Porn Stash, Jimmy Garoppolo. Damn. The Bills. What else? Detroit. I'm playing. <laughs> that game was lit last year. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Y'all gave we lost it now. <laughs> that game was too much. That was too much for my heart. But I yeah, this uh it's a it's a tough division because really one through three is is a real toss-up. It really is like toss because like Honestly, the Rams, 49ers, and Cardinals, all of them have potential to win 10 plus games. No, they're 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 all of them are going to the Super Bowl. They have potential. High potential. Whoever wins this division is going to the Super Bowl. Book it. You heard it here first on the crisscross corner. <laughs> You're right, because those are your words, not mine. You heard it here first. Whoever wins, <laughs> whoever wins the NFC West. Is going to represent the NFC in the Super Bowl. <laughs> if only if, or just as long as you can defend your championship right now against this man, the Detroit Lions. I wish there was like a money in the bank. Stipulation when it came to football, that would be hilarious. Oh man, no, you don't need money in the bank, you just need Vince McMahon to come out and be like, but like in a elimination chamber 2010, <laughs> you can, you can, you can, you can, you can, you have to you can be champion just as long as you can face this guy. <laughs> and the Detroit and then Lions Batista, come out, and then Batista come, came out, at the, and then boom, I walked for miles, and so I just been a danger. Oh, that was God. SmackDown back in the day was lit. You know what time it was at eight o'clock when Batista's music hit. Or edge. <laughs> that should be an that should be an idea. A tier list of wrestler theme songs. 
LOL. We could do that later. Okay. Uh, well, now we're going to do the last division. The toughest division in all of football, without question. I want to say the toughest. Well, I am. I would say, I won't say the toughest. I won't say the one that everybody is biting their nails to find out who's going to be the last team in the playoffs. It's the ultimate. This, this is Toss Up City. The whole division is tossed up. The That's fact, no, it wouldn't have been Toss Up City if your, your Indianapolis Colts wouldn't have fucked up against Jackson. They, 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 they fucked it all the way up. They, I'm, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this again on the show. I literally went through every single scenario to get Harrison the Pittsburgh Lassie. Steelers into the playoffs. <laughs> Every one of them happened. Every single last one. <laughs> I said, yes! <laughs> I stood up in uh, I stood up in Red Robin. Everybody's looking at me. I was like, oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Came out of the last play. I was like, yes! <sighs> Alyssa was looking at me all funny. She was like, what's wrong with you? I was like, Remember the, all the scenarios I said? Every one of them happened. Honestly, I'll say it's like, <sighs> it, it, it's, one, it's one thing to like, let's see, the Colts had to lose, which they did. And then the Steelers had to win in Baltimore. Yeah. And, then the Ra- and then the Raiders and the Chargers had to end in a tie for the, for the, for the Steelers to get in. And every scenario. No, 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 no. It had to be, no, one of them had to lose. Which means it, no, if oh, what, one of no, one of them had to lose. So if they would have tied, the Steelers would have been both. out. And both of them would have went into the playoffs. But because I, I, it was a rivalry game, they someone had to lose. I, I have never been so stressed watching a football game in my life. I was like, these motherfuckers are really about to go to a tie, and the Steelers would not have gotten it, which means in hindsight, I think it would have been. The Chargers or the wait well, no the Chargers would have played against the Chiefs in the first round, mm-hmm. which is a, which and, is a rivalry. Yeah. Which is a rivalry. The Raiders still play the Bengals. Assuming both games still happen in real life, it would still be the Chiefs and the on um, the Bengals, and oh, then everything else the way it does. So that's just, just, just love car, but all you had to do was end it a tie, so y'all both could go to the playoffs. But, but no. honestly, I, I don't know if it was the after guard or anything, but the damn Chargers calls called a time out. I'm like, why? Why? Mm-hmm. I was like, this is this is perfect. They were right, let, so I think run down. So my AFC West, I have the Raiders at last, Chargers in third, Broncos in second. It's a hot take. The hot take for Broncos at second. In Kansas City, with the depleted roster at one, still at one. And you want to know why they're at one? Because of Patrick, Trevor the Frog, Mahomes. No, because of the Patrick Christ, State Farm. <laughs> they got their insurance policy. <laughs> um, why, why, why are why are Benjamin say letting Western hang in there? Why is the it other? What's the score? It's twenty one thirteen <laughs> in the fourth quarter. I'm looking. I'm looking at the score right now. I'm not looking um, at the game. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. I, 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 I might turn on the game. This this look. This might be good. But anyway, those are my picks. What are your What's your synopsis of the AFC West before we get into my top ten teams that might win a Super Bowl? I got two hot takes for this. Okay. My first hot take: the Broncos win the division. That's my first hot take. Okay. I see that. I see you out here. My second hot take. I hope you're sitting down. Okay. I'm I'm sitting down. All four teams make the playoffs. And yes, I got it on DraftKings. I can see it. it's gonna be slim, but I I I I can see it though. It's it's literally like one of just because of last year, just because of last year. So there, that's that's the only that's reason why. It. That's the only reason why it's in the all four. Because literally last year, all all four teams almost did make the playoffs. If they would have well, just wait, wait, kept wait, wait. the rivalry aside and mm-hmm. just that's tied right. the game, we could have mm-hmm. all went to the playoffs, and one of us gonna win the Super Bowl, but all of us are gonna be in there. But honestly, this this whole division, honestly, if the AFC Championship were to come from this division, I would not be mad. Because the fact you get Mahomes, 
no Herbert, the Broncos, but Russell Derek Wilson, Carr. and there and Derek Carr and the Raiders with my guy Wade in the Waller and the addition of, of Devontae as a Hunter Renfro. All of those games should be prime time games. Those should be the real prime time games instead of the damn Cowboys. Exactly, because you got teams who actually win, mm-hmm. who actually do something. But honestly, the, the whole division is a whole toss up. It's it's so many great players. It's the tough division all of football because it's stacked on every every on the defense every defense is stacked except for the Chiefs because they're depleted. It's gonna be interesting to see what the Chiefs do without Tyree Hill since he's a huge part of that offense. But you still got Travis mm-hmm. Kelsey and you still got Mahomes. So if you got those, there's still a way. There's still a way. So it's gonna be very, 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 very interesting. But I would say Raiders and last Chargers, then the Chiefs. And then the Broncos. But honestly, all four teams can win more than 10 games. And all of them, I think, will make the playoffs because it is that good of a, a like is that good of a division. Yeah. It truly is. I can see that happening. Okay. Well, those are so I have the Green Bay Packers, Tampa Bay, Buccaneers. Philadelphia Eagles, Los Angeles Rams, those are the teams winning the North. Those four the four winners of the North. Then we have the I mean the 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 NFC, I mean. Yeah, I I, um, I need to and then uh AFC I have the Cincinnati Bengals, the Tennessee Titans, Buffalo Bills, and Kansas City Chiefs. Are you um are you doing wild card teams well or just division winners? Just to the just to the uh division winners. We do the uh we do the the contests, the infamous contests. I just hope I win. Playoffs. I, I just yeah. hope I win because last year I was trash last year. Trash. trash. It was me and Mark for the championship, which I won yeah. because Mark's Buffalo Bills made it all the way through. That was You're funny right. as hell. Nah, that, that was it. He was so hurt. He was. He was like so I'm still waiting for them to get the ball. It's like they they won. Oh, it's wait. over. <laughs> they left too much time. Oh yeah, Eastern's gonna win. It's thirty-five to seventeen. We're gonna be winning, oh y'all. Mm-hmm. Eastern Eagles homecoming is I think it's the last week of September. Yep. And then we face Massachusetts, UMass, on October first. How, how, how about to shoot? Um, shoot. Let's let's get to a Mike Championship. Let's do that. Shoot. So speaking of championships, here are my top ten teams that might That's win good. the Super Bowl in twenty twenty three. So I believe, I believe the Super Bowl is going to be in Arizona this year at the Toaster. Yeah. Yep, it is. Literally, um, State Farm Stadium, I believe it's called now. Yep, it is. Um, and uh, it's going to be a lot of teams that could win, but these are the top ten. That I believe, that I believe in my heart, will win the Super Bowl. All right, what you got? Honorable mentions. We have number one, Green Bay Packers. Yes, the honorable mention. Number oh, two, okay. I, I don't want to mention. I don't want to mention. Number two, Las Vegas Raiders. Number three, Miami Dolphins. Damn. Number four, Dallas Cowboys. Damn. And number five, Philadelphia Eagles. Now, before y'all get mad, I'm, I'm just not. going by. This is by my heart. This is my top 10 teams. Yeah, this is your. I would like to see one of these teams going to the Super Bowl and win. You heard it here first on the crisscross corner. Number 10, Arizona Cardinals. That's fair. Number nine, Tennessee Titans. Number eight, the Commanders of Washington. <laughs> They're going to find a way to get to the Super Bowl. (sighs) Number seven, Denver Broncos. (laughs) Chris, where'd you go? (laughs) You know, the okay, okay. The Washington Commanders are a sleeper in the NFC East, okay? You know this. Their defense is ridiculous, and you know this. Their offense is the one. The offense is suspect, but the defense is top notch. Uh, so number six, we have Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. Oh, I mean Tampa Bay Buccaneers. <laughs> number five, Cincinnati Bengals. 
Okay, okay, okay. No. All right, you want me back? You want me back? Number four, San Francisco 49ers. Number three, the Buffalo Bills. Number two, the Los Angeles Rams. Prince Canty. What? If you're about to say at number one, what I think you're going to say. Number one's a good team. Right. I just talked about. I, 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 know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I haven't talked about one of these teams yet. I know, I know, I know. Number one of the top 10 teams that might win a Super Bowl in 2023. I'm going with the Detroit Lions. Yes, I said it. We're on Hard Knocks on HBO Max. Come on now. I don't care if you got three toes and one butt cheek. We're winning a Super Bowl, God damn it! The Detroit Lions are going to win a Super Bowl. And that's how we're going to end the show right there. This has been your host, Chris Canty. Christopher Burr folding dishes over there. Ain't going to get a date in two years. This has been the Crisscross Corner. <laughs> See you next week. Regardless of what I just said about Chris, stay safe and be nice to each other. <laughs>